Hello, everybody. I'm Daniele Ghisi, and I'm a composer from Italy. If, if I had to pinpoint to one thing that I wanted to explore with my new piece is, is an experience of time, a paradoxical experience of time, uh, where you feel that everything is crumbling somehow, but at the same time, everything is speeding up and uh, everything is moving as fast as it could. Um, and in the end, you ended up in a point where everything is crazily hectic, uh, whereas you thought uh, that everything was like slowing down constantly. So this is the process, which is the basis for uh, the whole construction of the piece. And uh, if I, the, the, the title of the piece is Black Rain, which reminds more of a um, science fiction universe than perhaps a musical one per se, but the idea I had in my mind was this un com complete unfolding, but at the same time, a complete collapse that actually was becoming more and more hectic as it went on. It depends on what each of us mean by compass. The times we are living are not the easiest one, not just for the pandemics, but also for the world situation. And again, as, I, as I'm speaking, a, a, a war has just begun, something I had never seen so close in my life. I mean, it's not close to me right now, but it's a, I'm, I'm sure that some situation we didn't forecast affect us already. And that's true for the pandemic. That's true for um, something else. I mean, we are very bad at forecasting things, uh, apparently. At the same time, uh, I'm not a composer who tries to react to the world by making political statements or by trying to be political in a, a strict sense of the word. I do political things uh, in a sense, which I think in, in a larger sense, I'm part of a collective of composers. This is something political to me in a way. Uh, I, uh, writing together with someone is a statement in a way that perhaps composer as we have thought of uh, like in the 19th century uh, perhaps we can change the figure of the composer with something more modern and so the, to me the compass is research i would say composing is researching and uh, that could mean researching how to compose together but also researching on music te technology but also researching on ways to make sense of uh, uh, music structures, music figures, whatever is meaningful to uh, someone. Uh, in this piece, to me, the, the, the construction is an extremely mathematical one, by the way. So it's, it's extremely formal as a setting, although there's many things on the top of it. But to me, the compass is research. I'd like to start a piece or a project by asking, what am I interested in? To what I, and, and nine out of 10 times, this involves reading, writing, uh, doing mathematics, uh, programming, doing something else than music. And I like this because music is, is a sort of the tip of the iceberg of something that goes on. This is a hard question to answer with a very little uh, hindsight. Uh, <laughs> I think I'll hun I, I, I'd like to answer it in 10 years because uh, in retrospect, I know my, my things have changed like 10 years ago, but I, I, I'm not sure it changed two years ago. I think the pandemics changed a lot of things we did. I started to do shorter things, put them online, but for no one, uh, no commission, just, uh, you know, pastime activity that I usually did on the side. Perhaps I, I it, it, during lockdown, uh, it was easier. The number of things to do decreased outside home. So there was more time for, to me, it was also a way in part to be with my family, of course, but on the other hand, also to be letting the mind go and uh, as freely as possible. And this produced something which I would say it's rubbish, but I'm, I'm using rubbish on a secondary level. And I like, I like this kind of rubbish, uh, in a sense. It's not rubbish in the true sense of the word. It's uh, more like a j jokes or pastime or light entertainment to me. But I see some depth in that. And I, some of the work I did after that uh, took some of the ideas that were in those little um, snippets of music and uh, brought them somewhere else. So I'd say that it has changed in a sense. I mean, I, it went through phases, but the idea of making music just as something to put out uh, without commissions or big pieces is refreshing from time to time. And uh, this is uh, something I've liked.
you, you you're choosing very hard questions though <laughs> if i if i if i if i could predict the changes the changes would already be happening <laughs> i don't know um honestly i don't know <laughs>